Nissan was trying to charge me like a thousand dollars to do it and I looked it up on YouTube and it looks pretty simple and your girl's gonna change her own coal bag, period. Oh, it's gonna slap somebody. Stop <laughs> <laughs> like your mama. <laughs> Hi guys, it's your girl B and Natasha Nicole here. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. My channel is all about God glowing and growing. So if you want to glow and grow and experience God too, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below. But hey, I haven't seen y'all in a while. <laughs> but anyway, right now. I wanted to come through and say and introduce the vlog because I know this is probably this vlog probably won't be this long this week because it's already Wednesday but my cycle took me out on Monday and Tuesday so I honestly did not do anything so today was the first day that I felt like actually being outside you know what I mean um I done went and worked out this morning came home made breakfast I now came up here um see about my camera my camera so if you watch my weekend charlotte weekend vlog which will be up before this one but um we was in north carolina we went into best buy and they didn't have the camera that i needed so upset so last time i was up here um they had it online there they said it wasn't in line or on store in store so i came back up here to see what they're saying how long will it be? You know, prayerfully they got one left in there and it's just for me. Cause God's gonna work it out. We're gonna go ahead and manifest it because I need me a camera. I need a camera. Or figure out how to get mine fixed, but I don't know how to get it fixed. So I may take it to a few more shops around my area and see if maybe they can fix it. But regardless of the fact I still need another one, I just need another one. Period. <laughs> Period. Um Dang, FedEx trucker, you gonna come out of the road. But anyway, we're here at Best Buy. Fingers crossed. See what happens. It is now 12.30, so we gotta be back to make sure we pick up Carter and Tom from school, but I just had to come and see what they have. So, let's run in here real quick. Real quick. In Jesus' name, we just thank you, Father God, for just being a miracle worker working it out working it out please 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 be here please be here <sighs> free local shipping may 13th I need this. I need that camera. I need to buy it, but I think I'm gonna give me a Best Buy credit card. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm buying this right now. So, yay, they got it. So, lucky for me, I ordered my um, ordered my uh, camera. I got some info about getting a um, Best Buy card. Eventually, I want an iPad, but today I just wanted to order my camera because it said it went nowhere online either the other day. Or when we was in Charlotte. <clears throat> and baby, that scared me. That scared me. So, we got my camera ordered. It was after tax and everything. I paid $423. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby, but I needed it. I could not get a camera. We're done with that. We're done with that. So, um, yeah, I guess now that we're here and I got my camera ordered, which I feel so much better, thank heavens. Um, I guess I go ahead and go by Tarjay. Uh, since I'm right here because I actually want to look at some jammies. Some jammies! But I want to look at some pajamas. And then, is there something else I meant to do while I was up here? I don't think so. I don't think so. And then I think I'm done for the day. But as long as I got my camera, I don't care. Not 
much shopping for anything. I may stop by Burlington just to see if they got some graphic t-shirts, but other than that, I don't need nothing. So next week is vacation, and it's really gonna be a legit vacation because Bay and I have never been anywhere. Just us two, our own plans like nothing else going on. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. So we're literally going to the beach and we're just going to relax. We're not doing anything. We're not packing nice clothes. I probably won't pack any makeup. I can't say I won't for sure, but pretty sure I won't be packing any makeup because we're really just going to relax, sit on the beach and like do absolutely nothing for a couple of days just to kind of like reset. And I'm really looking forward to that because I've never, had a vacation where I wasn't on, you know, where you had other people around, you kind of had to do things that other people want to do and kind of, you know, incorporate yourself. Bay and I just plan on getting drunk and sitting on the beach all day. I'm actually about to order us a um, little tent. We got chairs already in the back, but I'm gonna order a little tent for the beach. And we're gonna sit there and chill all day, drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, pl drink plenty of liquor and beer and enjoy the scenery. And we have an oceanfront room, so I am really looking forward to this. So I'm really, really excited about this vacation because we ain't got nothing to do. And when we go to Florida, we got to entertain the kids and everything else. So this is like perfect for us. But anyway, so yeah, got that done, got my camera, so happy about it. All right, so let's go into Target. Oh, so now I'm ready to see what kind of, um, I have some cute swimsuits. I have some of swimsuits from last year. I probably don't need none another swimsuit. Ooh, that's a cute black right here. Kind of cute. A little bit. Um, I don't even know why I'm in the shoe section. So it's not in here for shoes. Those are kind of cute. I just bought some of them a little bit the other day. Those are kind of cute. Of course, they don't have my size. They got 11. Oh, they got 11 in black. Cute. I like these for whatever reason. You know, when we was at the wedding, I needed some like cute shoes like these to wear. I think they're $24. They're cute for summer. I think I'm gonna get these. I think I'm gonna get those. So, I think I'm gonna get this one. Everybody says these are like super comfortable. That's 30 bucks. $30. They have it in this color or blue. I guess I have a black one already, so do I really need black? I do have that black. Because I have a black silk one. So I think I'm going to get this one. They say they're super duper comfy. So let's get that. Honey, Target would have to be all kinds of stuff. And I don't even like Target like that. 
honestly. I'm gonna be real about it. I got me a robe. Cause I needed another one. I kind of like this silk one too. Feels kind of good. But I have a black silk one. So now I have a gray one. And I don't know if I showed y'all, but I picked up two pair of shoes. another tripod for my camera that I'm about to be getting that may end up looking on Amazon for that so got me a road I'm gonna see if I can find me a handle or a tripod and I'm getting out of here all right so that was easy peasy lemon squeezy I'm so happy that was such an easy process so I got my camera, which is the main thing. I need to go pay my car taxes, but I'm gonna wait till I pick up Carter for that. And then, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but I bought these two cute pair of shoes. Uh, these are in the color tan. I have some white looking kind of ones that I have from Walmart that I bought, but I bought these. I thought they were so, so cute at Target. And then um, this would give me the option when I'm dressing up or something, and I later on want to take my heels off. I have these, or I could wear these. I'm gonna pair these with a cute outfit this summer. And I just bought another pair just in black, which I think you seen me try those on. So it was that same pair. And then I bought that gray robe and I bought me a NYX eyebrow pencil. And that's it. So, and that was a hundred dollars. I had to get out of there. I had to get out of there. And spent five hundred dollars today that fast. <laughs> I almost hit that car that fast today. Let me just go forward, actually. So, but that was well spent. I've been saving up for my camera, so that's all good. No complaining, because I knew I needed a new one. So now I have one that stays at the house with me, that stays stationary, and then I have a new one that I would take with me on trips and try my best not to drop feel me and I think as far as my car I think I'm just gonna be vlogging on my phone in my car from now on because it's just so much easier and I feel like that's why I've dropped the camera so many times it's in my car so yeah I think I'm just gonna be vlogging on my phone if I'm in the car and that will stop me from breaking the new one because that is so unnecessary oh is it my turn I'm sorry I didn't realize this is a four-way stop. It should be a constant. Like, y'all should be going. Anyway, there's nothing else I have to do up here. No home goods. We're not going to the mall. Or we're going to the mall. We're not going to the mall. I low-key need to go to Sam's. So I'm trying to think, what would I pick up from Sam's? Wait. Okay, y'all, so. I'm back, Carter. Dude, ready. I thought I was going to get a sticker here. I thought we was gonna get our sticker here too. So I just went and paid my car taxes and I forgot like if you paid them late that you had to go to the DMV. Y'all listen. Last time I went to the DMV, it's like every time I go to the DMV, I feel like I haven't been in a long time because I haven't needed anything. But if you have a bill, they make you pay it. And I wanna say that I had let the insurance lapse on the old school car. I had kind of forgot about it or didn't turn the tag in in time or something or I don't know. But I have an 81 um, Oldsmobile Cutlass, right? And I forgot to turn the tag in when I went, when I covered it up and stuff. And I feel like they told me you don't have to pay it until you actually need something. And I praying that today is not that day I'm praying that today is not that day because when you don't turn it in i think it's like up to a max of 200 dollars. so but either way i don't want to pay no i wouldn't plan on spending no 200 dollars today i wasn't planning on that now i gotta go to the dmv to get my sticker but i definitely need my sticker because like i said we're going on vacation next week and my sticker has to be good. And on top of that, I gotta buy the coals for my car. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and change the coal pack in my car. 
and I want to say that's like the parts are like another 200 something dollars fingers crossed that I didn't have to pay that money today or that maybe I've already paid it it's maybe it was that long ago because I haven't had insurance on that cut list in a minute I just have her covered up so that I don't need no tag for my building or whatever but oh my god story of my life but anyway yeah my allergies are bad, getting bad today. I don't know why, but I took my medicine, so I don't know why they're bad. But yeah, but we pay the car taxes. At least they're paid. They're paid. It may not have no sticker, but now we gotta go to DMV, so we gotta hurry because it's already almost four o'clock, and I'm pretty sure DMV calls at five. And y'all know anybody's DMV is like. The lines are like hella long, so let's just fingers crossed that we can get in there and get out, Cardi. We gotta manifest. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna get out, get what we need, and get out. Okay? Yeah! Okay? I want to put a slap from five. <laughs> I hate to like your mama. Alright, y'all. We made it out of the DMV. We made our DMV. <clears throat> I got my sticker. I did not have to pay anything but a $10 late fee with a dollar seventy for using the card. I tell you what, they be getting you, boy. They be getting you. But I'm so thankful that it wasn't like two hundred something dollars. So I'm happy. Bay just called and wished me happy anniversary, y'all. We've been engaged a year as of now. Like it's been a whole year. And I forgot, I didn't even, I mean, I kind of thought about it, but I don't know. So, yeah, I've been engaged for a year now as of today. So, May 11th is my engagement anniversary. And our wedding anniversary will hopefully be sometime in August. Maybe. 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 So, I'm ready. Carter, you ready for a wedding? You ready? They gonna have. I'm gonna have a big old cake. Can I eat it all? You have some. No, I'm gonna eat it all. I'm gonna have a cake. You gonna be handsome because you gonna be having on the tux. Anyway, like I was saying, it's my anniversary, but I'm about to stop by my mama's house right quick. All right, not my mama's house. <laughs> I'm about to stop by my mama's shop. And I'm about to see if she can braid my hair right quick. I know Carter's ready to go home, but... Braid your hair? Yeah. Okay, I don't mind that. I wish I could see Haley. He was so ready to go home a while ago. I'm telling you. He, don't You can't separate a boy. You can't separate a grandson from his hammy. Because Lord knows he goes crazy. Oh, as long as I see hammy, I'm okay. I just love hammy. And my mama is crazy about him. like. And Tiger. Jesus. And Daryl. But anyway, I'm going to go by here and see if maybe I can wash my hair and blow dry it right quick. And let her black braid it if she has time. If not, then that's cool. That'd be cool. And I can do it later this week. You guys know I can't run 46 miles per hour? <laughs> you can't run no 46 miles per hour. Wash me. We're watching. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I just I'm ready to date this week off. Okay, just came back, guys. You just ran at forty. Oh, she's not even at. Oh, maybe she is at work and she don't have her because she don't have no car. Yeah. She ain't got no car. Put the stick. What's your mom? You think she's here? Maybe. It depends. No, 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 no. She isn't. How you know? The windows are open. The windows look open. Oh, it does say closed. Well, say closed. Yep. Well, why she didn't close the blinds? She may just be saying closed. Hold on, let me call my mama. So it looks as if I won't be getting my hair done till Sunday. My mom wasn't even. Can I drink it, mama? At the shop, sure. She wasn't even at the shop. She was thrifting before her next appointment, which is something she always does. But we just on a whim, just cause 
we was down here we was just trying to see if she was available and she's not so i have till sunday to wash and straighten my hair which is probably a good thing because i plan on working out every day so honestly i guess i'll just be wearing this hat for the next couple of days because i don't see no point <clears throat> crochets I had at home. I don't even know what they are, but I gotta go find them. I know I got some, but I don't know what kind of style they are, but I really don't care. It's just something I had. I might as well wear it at least once. I mean, I never did wear them. I don't even know why I bought them. I probably bought them like over a year ago, but anyway. We're just rambling, so now we're about to go to the grocery store and figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Cordy's on a van. <sighs> what you thinking for dinner, boy? Okay, Carly's available now. Okay, love. What you want for dinner? Uh, so, good morning, people. How are y'all doing this? Oh, what did I run over? How are y'all doing this morning? Today is, um, it is Tuesday, or whatever. Two more days till vacation. I'm looking. Yeah, so we're getting ready. Yesterday was Monday, y'all. I did absolutely nothing yesterday because literally I watched the lunar eclipse on Sunday night and I just ended up being up all night to like three o'clock. And then by the time I dropped Carter off at school yesterday, girl, girl, I was done. I was completely done. I was done for because, mm, listen, I had stayed up all night and I literally slept till it was time to pick him up from school. And then I went to bed early again last night because my stomach was hurting. So we're okay now. We're back to normal. We're good. We got plenty of rest, plenty of sleep. I have coffee. I'm getting ready to go take my mom to um, pick up her car. She got a car fixed. Got my hair done, so I'm ready for vacation, baby. I'm ready to relax or whatever. All right, y'all. So I am clearly back at the or back at the house. I don't even think I talked. Did I talk to y'all? I think I talked to y'all in the car this morning when I took Carter to school. But since then, I came back home. Um, I had to take my mom um, to go pick up her car, so I went and did that. And then after I came back from there, I went and cleaned out my car and washed it and now i'm back at the house uh i did also go by autozone because i need a coal pack in my car and i figured nissan was trying to charge me like a thousand dollars to do it and i looked it up on youtube and it looks pretty simple and your girl's gonna change her own coal bag period like i had my cousin um byron he did my spark plugs and kind of i guess that's a kind of a thing that goes together spark plugs and coil pack so he said i really didn't need the coil pack at the moment but i felt my car starting to skip again and i knew that was already an issue when i don't even know if y'all seen y'all seen where they left the oil thing if y'all haven't seen a few vols back your girl was all distraught because they left the oil cap off my engine and oil was like everywhere when i went and got an oil change at nissan so then I guess some of the oil kind of got into the coal pack, which kind of made it go bad. And then they didn't want to pay for it because they said it wasn't due to the oil leak when really I know it was because somebody said something about that previously or said I may have that problem to pay attention. Anyway, I let them fix it. My car broke down. They came and got the car, picked the car up, told me it was a coal, replaced one of them. It was charged. I was charged like 400 and something dollars to replace one coal. I have four in my car because I have a four cylinder. I know my car is not that fast but whatever um <laughs> i have four of them and they pay, charge me 400 but i just bought all four for like 220 and then i could do the work myself so why were you about to charge me that much money but anyway so i went to autozone autozone ordered those they said they'd be here at three o'clock today so i'm gonna go and pick those up and then go to my dad's job because i know he has the tool that i need because i actually as much stuff as i do on my car I don't know where my tools have went, but you're going to buy her new toolbox. But anyway, so I said all that to say I made it back to the house now. Clearly, my kitchen looks a mess. Please don't judge it. Um, I'm getting ready to try to find the energy to actually go and work out because I really need to walk. I've just been doing walking and doing the elliptical 
uh, probably about working like 70 to 80 minutes per day or every other day or whatever. But I recently just went and bought some C4, which is the only reason I picked up this camera is to tell y'all I've been taking C4. But I bought some of this. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about it as a, um, as like a pre-workout or whatever. But I guess it kind of works. I don't get that tingly sensation. I've been wondering like, do I need like the extreme one? Because does it help me push through my workout? Mm, mm, a little bit. I don't think it is that much of a difference. I feel like I could drink coffee and kind of have that kind of oomph. But this time, I'm going to do me like a heaping cup pool. Like that much. But um, supposed to add like one scoop with like six to eight ounces of water. And for me... I feel like the less water, kind of like the better. So I have my Matte Fit cup. Do y'all remember these? Matte Fit tea? Anyway, I just fill it up just a tiny bit, just enough to kind of mix it in. And I have the watermelon flavor. And y'all, this one is really, really good. So if you're thinking about getting a C4 or something to help you work out, get the watermelon. So I see uh, some people actually take that stuff like dry scooping. I might as well be doing the cinnamon challenge. I am not about to do that. So I mix, I mix mine in water, cold water, and it's good. It tastes just like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It smells like it too. It's like, mm. It's really good. So you're supposed to take it um, 30 minutes before your workout. So we're gonna see if it works. Then we're gonna go ahead and go and walk, get back. So it's like 11 o'clock now. I need to work out what, over an hour. So by 12, I need to be back here in the house by like, I'd say around like 12.30 so I can shower and get dressed. I love having crochets in my hair and not having to put on no wig or nothing like that or no hat. Mm. So, yeah, I'll be done by like 1.30. By the time I pick up Carter, I can go pick up my Coles, go to my dad's place and change them there. I'm also gonna change my engine my engine air filter needs to be changed. I've seen that on my sheet because whenever you take your car to get a uh, service, they always give you like a list of things that need to be changed. So I was looking at it. So I need to order when I go back up there, get an engine air filter as well as a cabin air filter. Look those up on YouTube, girl. You can save you some money. I know your cabin air filter. I've changed that before. They charge you like 80 bucks at Nissan. The, air, the filter itself is only like 30 bucks, like nothing. And it's super easy to change. So I'll show y'all that. But we got this down. So we'll go ahead and put on our sweet sweat band. I'm just filling this up with water because I need to drink this. I feel like I need to drink this much water today during my workout. How much is this? 450 milliliters. I'm gonna try to drink this during my workout because I really don't drink during my workout, more so afterwards, but I'm take this with me. I've gotten to a place where I don't really like cold water lately. Like, room temperature water is better for me. I don't know why, but I'm about to go work out. I'm not going to show y'all me working out because it's literally me walking on a treadmill and elliptical. Uh, so I'm going to go do that and we'll probably pick up later. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. <laughs> Uh, so I went ahead and bought me a cabin air filter. I think I paid $20, $22 for this. And I bought an engine filter as well. And I paid like 20 bucks for this. So they're super cheap, super inexpensive. So when they tell you to change your air filters and stuff like that, look it up on YouTube and see if you can actually change it yourself. And then I went ahead and got four ignition coils to go in my car. So I'm going to go change that. But I'm going to head to my dad's job. So... I can use this tool and Dad, do that. Dad, you want to give me some steak, steak sandwich? 
and then that will be it. So all together, I spent $204. And if I would have been at Nissan, it would have charged me about mm, $1,500. Wait, 15? Wait, what does that mean? What, what makes that make sense. $1,500? No, I'm just saying all together from the estimates that they gave me for stuff. So what does the $500, bro? For all of that's how much they would charge me when i oh, just spent 204 dollars yes so make that make sense why i have that much money like why though why does it cost that much money but anyway we're going to head to my dad So y'all, I got it open, but these are the coils that we're changing, these four here, but the engine is hot, so I gotta let them cool off. Um, and I have one up under there, so it's only a four cylinder, but I am gonna go ahead and change my engine air filter, which is located behind my daddy's toolbox somewhere. Maybe I can just close it up. It ain't gonna fall apart right now. All right, so that is, if you can see, this little piece here pops up. And here's your filter. Mine is probably like really nasty. So you pull this piece out, it's disgusting. And then you put your new one in. Just lay it in here, just like that. That's all it does. It doesn't stick or anything and then it's just like loose i'm trying to record and do this but then it's just loose stick it back in there huh oh i don't know but i will just like that see mine don't have one yours don't have a filter mm -hmm. it don't stick it just yeah, just, uh, sits in there. It just sits in there. I was just trying to make sure it was. And then you've changed it. Just like that. Now, is that the. Was that a B? Yeah. Then I. Hold on. I can't do it one. Alright, so we're back to doing this ourselves because my dad is clearly. Oh, Carter. Papa said you can go in the store. He said you can go in the store. Yeah, he said come in here. So we are clearly doing this ourselves now because, uh, and my daddy keeps saying this is hot. So I'm trying to be careful. Oh, other way, other way. Yes, they are hot, duh, but we're changing them. I hope there's not a bee around me. I feel like something's on me. So, here's a screw. And I'm doing one engine coil at a time. The new ones, I mean the old ones that I took out, I'm literally just throwing it on the ground. It up hot my hands are sweaty and you gotta unplug it I can't pull the plug out <laughs> I am not strong enough to pull the plug out shit how did daddy do that you push right here to pull it out Put the new one in. Stop all this stuff from flying everywhere. Put the new one in. You just 
So I get back up to this little piece. Let's get in there first. So I get up. Stick it back down off in there. Line it up with the hole. And screw it back together again. Without, without dropping it. Just doing it with my hands first. Make sure it's in there good. My hands are gonna be nasty now. Turn your little clicker thing this way. Make sure you're gonna put it on the locking position. And this is gonna turn it. Yeah. Anthony's child over here. Alright, and it's going down. You wanna turn it till it's nice and tight. Not as tight as it can go, but tight enough. Then this is the old one. I'm putting it in the box. And throwing it on the ground. <laughs> That's just so I don't get mixed up. So two down. Two more to go. I'm gonna turn my clicker. Be careful, y'all. I'm a whole mechanic over here. Bitch, I'm a whole mechanic. Then I just gotta pull this loose. I don't know how daddy did that, but he's gonna have to put that back. Let's just hope my car cranks back up after doing this. How about that? Literally, I've changed these three. That's what I've been doing is unplugging them from here. But now, I'm just taking my hand, screw it out. Then I gotta pull that, hold on, I can't hold the phone and pull that apart. So, it's easy if you kinda pull it out the hole first. that I have it pulled out of here. This is the old one. Boom. Take a new one. Yes, sir. <laughs> have a great day. All right. They were really nice. Here's my new one. I'm literally just sticking it in here and then I'm gonna plug it back up. Plug it back up to there. So the hard part was to see if my car actually crumped back up, so. I think it's kind of misfiring. I don't know why, but let's see. It's misfiring. Shit, hold on. All right, so I think I got it now because the hose was off. Listen to that baby purr. Who put that coils on top of their spark plugs correctly? <laughs> her. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, it's good. That's done. I just gotta do my cabin filter. So I'll probably do that later. So yeah, Carter's in here. Let's see what he's doing. Look at him right there. Making those pizzas. Making pizzas with his mom. All right, y'all, so I am now back home, but I'm about to go ahead and change my cabin filter for my car. I don't think there's anywhere I can prop you up. But in my car, you have to um, YouTube, like, where yours is in your car. Mine is up under this panel. I wonder if you can see. So I have to pull this panel loose. And mine is like back somewhere. Hold on, can you see? Hold on. Once you pull the panel off, it is, oh yeah. All the way, all the way up under this gas pedal. Hold on, let me turn it around. 
All right, so to get to it, you kind of have to push the gas in, I guess, a little bit. You got to get a hold of this clip, yo, that I cannot get off because my hands are sweet. Let me get a napkin. All right, so I finally got this little piece off. I had to get, like, a screwdriver to, like, go underneath. But then my cabin filter is back here. You got to pull it out. And it looks like it is really dirty. Yes, it is. Look how dirty it is. Disgusting. So I just vacuumed out my car and you can see all the leaves. So <clears throat> there's that because it was literally like that dirty. That's disgusting. So now take our new air filter and put it in exactly the same way you took it out. That's your clean one. In case y'all ain't noticed, I'm not here sweating. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new one in, but in order to put the, you have to make sure that your indicators are going towards the back of the car. But mine in my car, I had to squish it in the middle. So I can't hold the camera, <clears throat> but I had to squish it in the middle. The hard part. Let me just kind of stick it in like so. You have to keep the middle squished for mine to go in. You just slide it in there. Squish it down some more. And it pops up. You want it in there enough to put the housing back on. So, okay. There we go. And we're done. And I'm sweating like a pig. Okay, but at least that's done. We got the air filter. Got this disgusting one out. So we're done. We're done. We're going in the house. All right. Look how sweaty I am. I'm over here, placing it though, glowing, glowing. I am sweating like it's nobody's business. Like just out here glistening. Trying to change it down, cabin filter. But at least I got it done. So bow. Air filter in. So that's such a good thing. Got the air filter check. Cabin filter check. Now tomorrow I just have to get a oil change and um tire rotated. But everything else is good on the car. So we're done. We're done for today. See y'all tomorrow. So good morning, peeps. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. I woke up feeling refreshed. I'm ready to go. I'm showered. We got to go get an oil change. I've already taken Carter to school. Mm. I packed up a little bit last night. I have like a couple of loads. Or not a couple. I maybe have like one load to wash. One bathroom to clean. And then we're ready for vacation. <laughs> I am so ready. <laughs> I am so ready. Listen, I am so excited about doing absolutely nothing. I don't know how many times I can stress the fact that we have never been on vacation and not had to, you know, or had people with us that we had to not necessarily entertain, but, you know, be social. We're both two introverts. So, <laughs> you know, like, well, we actually had, like, something to do, something planned. So, this is amazing. I'm so looking forward to it. I am. I really am. This is going to be exciting. Taking our time, doing whatever we want to do. Anyway, period. We about to go uh, get our oil changed or whatever. It is now... 808 in heart breaks. But um yes, yeah, 808. My appointment is at nine and it takes me about 30 minutes to get there. So we're actually gonna get there a little bit early because they'd be taking a <laughs> precious little time anyway. And since they messed up my car the last time, this time, um this time I have a little voucher thing where I get a free tire rotation and a free oil change 
me and my pettiness, I didn't already like mark one of my tires to see if they actually rotate your tires. Cause listen, it makes me question everything you're doing now. Like your negligence is just like unmatched. I just assumed for the past three years that you have been rotating my tires correctly. I assumed that you were doing right by your customers, but now it's just like, I'm looking at side eye and I'm checking everything. Like, you think I ain't gonna pop my hood to make sure my oil cap is on there from every, from now on, from here on out? Period, baby. Listen, you got the right one. You got the right one. And I know when they see my car come through, I know they be like, this the girl that was talking shit. So it's like, so I marked one of my side here just to see. <laughs> yes, I'm petty like that, but don't pay me no attention. Um... Anyway, yeah, I'm on my phone. I don't even know why I have my phone when I have a new camera. But honestly, I'll be low-key kind of scared to carry the camera anyway because I don't want it to break. But it's all good. But anyway, we're going to get an oil change. I'm going to take my computer with me so I can get some editing of this vlog done here. So, yeah. All right, guys, we have gotten our oil changed. I checked up under the hood to make sure my cap was on there. Everything was intact. The tires that I actually marked, I made sure that it was actually, that that tire wasn't on that one, so it isn't. So that's a good thing. Uh, they actually did what they were supposed to do. You feel me? So now I need to get my prescription sunglasses refitted to my face. Uh, low key, what time is it? My phone's right here, baby. Um, 10 14 kind of wanted to see no i'm gonna go ahead and go into ulta this guy is looking staring directly at me like what is she talking to she talking to herself like baby don't mind your business mind the business that pays you this is obviously not the car game right now but anyway i gotta stop at ulta and get some wax because i do have to tightened up my bikini area but i just waxed not too long ago so it's not even that bad i need to do that and have my glasses fitted to my face and it's just now 10 15 so we're making good time and that didn't take long at all not nearly as long as i thought so yeah period that's it I may need to go to Target. Do I need to go to Target? Definitely going to Ulta. All right, so I just went in the Ulta. <laughs> I didn't film in there because I went in there supposedly to grab one thing, but I end up grabbing more than one thing, of course. But this is the wax, the Sally Hansen wax that I always use. This is the all over body wax. This just works really great on the mm -mm -mm down there. That's the only place I can wax. I tried my underarms one time and that was uh, that was torture. That was so much worse than the kitty. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, and then another thing that I went in there to get was the another Mario Badesco lip balm. This one is the rose lip balm. I noticed they had rose, mint, and just the regular lip balm. But I think I had the regular lip balm this time. But or last time but this time i bought the rose i didn't know if it was gonna have a tint to it or not so let me check right quick mm. it's still thick but it smells like my rose spray so the one i had was just a regular lip balm because i know mine didn't smell like the rose spray but i need another one but these are bombs so i didn't know they had mint so i need to go back and get a mint and a regular lip balm because my other one's about out. Uh, and then when I was in there, uh, I went ahead and got some NYX tape and frame for my brows. This is supposed to be in the color Espresso. Supposedly, actually, let's open it to make sure. Uh, but this is supposed to be an Espresso. I just needed another brow pomade. So, this looks about right. Um, I had tried my sister's and I liked it. So, I bought that. I then went ahead and bought the e.l.f. brow lift just because I just been seeing it everywhere on TikTok and I bought the spoolie and everything. I just been seeing it everywhere and I just wanted to try it. I don't even know if I'm really going to use that for real. And then I went ahead and used the Wow Brow Deep Brown Volumizing. Oh, it's a fiber gel. It's a fiber gel for your eyebrows. So I bought this too. I don't know. Oh, this bump on my forehead though. I bought that. I didn't realize it was a fiber gel. 
Mm -mm. And then I bought this intense blackest black eyeliner. I tried this, or I'm trying this to see because I need another eyeliner. So all together, I spent like 50 bucks. $8 for the lip balm, $5 for the eyeliner, $5 for the brow gel, $4 for the brow lift applicator, $8.50 for the tape and frame. Six dollars for the clear brow gel and the Brazilian wax was nine dollars. So I spent fifty bucks. So at least I got some things that I know I'm going to use. So I think. All right. So the last place to go is to America's Best to get my sunglasses fitted to my face because they have my prescription in them, and especially since we're going to be at the beach, I feel like. I really need them and I done had them for two years and I just haven't been wearing them all because they don't fit my face correctly like they just fall off and I paid a lot of money for them so why have I not been wearing them I don't know then we're on our way back home then we're gonna pack the car up a little bit we gotta go by the grocery store we need to cut up some fruit and stuff and get the cooler and everything ready we need to get beer I need to cut up moms I want all that stuff to be ready and prepped so when we get there, we won't need all the utensils and stuff to try to do all that stuff. So, yeah, almost vacation ready. Yes. All right. So your girl got her glasses on, and they look and feel so much better. At least they're not falling off my face. So yes, they look good. Got them done. I know that lady was sick of me in there because I'm like, can you turn a little more this way? A little more that way? Girl, if you knew how long I done had these glasses and they didn't fit, and I'm up here, I need for them to fit. So, yeah, they feel good. I got my prescription. And they look even on my eyes because it was like completely wopsided. But loving them. All right, y'all. So I didn't win in Old Navy, which I shouldn't have done. But I never find anything in Old Navy that fits me correctly. I feel like I'm just, I don't, let's turn some air on, honey. It's hot. I don't have no shape. So I feel like all this stuff, you kind of have to have a little bit of a shape. But I did buy me two sets. I bought me these leggings and I bought the matching top to go with it. I got both of these in the size large, but it's just really it's really cute. I tried on the extra large because I really need the room for my boobs, but the extra large was like too droopy and then it didn't have my boobs sitting up. So I got larges, but these are gonna be just really cute just to wear either around the house or whatever. And then I got the, another one. I got the leggings, of course, the shorts, period. And I got the matching top as well. So I'm about to go home and wash these especially this one because it had deodorant stains on it but this was the only large they had but you can't even a little bit here on camera you can see the deodorant stains but i'm gonna go home and wash this but these are really cute and so the top the bottoms were 50 percent off so they were like the bottoms were 13 dollars, i believe a piece and the tops were buy one get one 50 percent off so i think i paid like 22 dollars for each top so all together like $77. So wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Cause when I added it up in my head how it was supposed to be, it was right at like $72. Yeah. So and then I got $20 little cash starting the fourth. So I may keep this and try to remember to use it. And see if come back and see if they have any more. So all right, but now I'm going home for real because now it's like 11 o'clock. And I'm going home so we can have us a protein shake. I probably need to go work out. That's probably what I need to be doing. But no, we got to go to the grocery store. We got a lot of things to do. And today is my mama's birthday. Happy birthday to my mama. Happy birthday to my mama. I need to go down there and see her, but she's not doing anything. She's just working, so. Hmm. I don't know. So I'm going to try to get everything ready for us to go and pack up the car. Oh, I need to find some way to drop off these bags. I've been had these bags of clothes that I need to donate somewhere. Hold on. Let me find a donation. Woo! Y'all. Yeah. 
So I just got finished giving all my donations to this place called JRM Store. But I was praying about it because I really wanted, I have some stuff like that had a lot of tags on it and stuff that hadn't been worn. So I really wanted it to go to, you know, just go to a good place where people that really, you know, really need the stuff or whatever. So I was praying cause I was like, do I take it to like Salvation Army to a boys and girls club kind of thing? Cause I had some stuff, a bag of Carters and I had brand new shoes that I never worn. Um, I don't know why I bought at Commerce. It was super cheap and then I just, you know, whatever. And I got all Carters. Pippins, just stuff that uh, shoes that he's worn, chucks that worn a couple of times. Anyway, long story short, I just wanted it to go to you know a thrift store that really, you know, that didn't have a kind of like a nonprofit. Basically, I wanted to go to a nonprofit, so I was praying about it. I was like, Lord, do I take it to? Do I drive all the way back home or past home just to take it to a Salvation Army? Or do I just give it to a place that my mom just said she shopped at when I brought her to her car yesterday. She's like, I love that thrift store. Which made me think about it. I was like, Lord, which one do I do? Which one do I do? What should I do? I was like, give me a sign. He was like, it's stuff you don't want no more. He was like, it doesn't matter. Regardless, it's going to go to somebody that actually needs it. So I just went ahead and stopped at the store that was on my way home. And they took the donations and stuff like that. So hopefully all the stuff goes to really good people that need it period because i don't honestly i ain't even gonna lie i want to get into thrifting more but i'm not no thrift store shopper i ain't never like no thrift store i don't know what it is but my grandma actually said something about that like even when i was younger i like didn't even want to go into thrift stores it's just something about them that just kind of makes my skin crawl i don't know what it is I don't know what it is, but I wish I could be a thrifter. My mom be thrifting stuff, but to me, what things that you just don't, I don't know. I believe spirits are real. Now, nah, people may disagree. People may disagree, but I feel like you don't know where the stuff came from. You don't know who it was attached to. So it's just kind of like, never know if that's somebody's favorite shirt and they want to hold on to it you know what i mean like i may be thinking a little bit too deep y'all i may be a little too deep but i just feel like stuff that come from other people i'm i'm more than willing to give myself because i know I, I don't have any ill harm or intentions or anything but i don't know but you just don't buy mirrors from yard sales my grandma told me mirrors hold spirits um what else is something else that you definitely don't buy? Like, mostly like mirrors. Mirrors and stuff like that. So, I just, I don't know. I think that's why I am how I am about the thrifting. Because I just, I ain't got no time for no extra scary ass shit that be happening to me. I ain't got time. Because I'll be scary. I'm scary like that. Because spirits are real they real but anyway we got the stuff dropped off that's all that matters <laughs> anyway as y'all can see I just got finished eating some waffle house and baby it was so good so now we're right here at walmart across the street um i'm about to get a fruit a fruit a fruit, few uh fruits i'm trying to think fruit some limes Fruit, limes. I'm gonna get ham and turkey from Ingles. I can get the bread at Ingles uh, for sandwiches. Maybe like a little mayonnaise, mustard, travel size.
fork spoon knives. And yeah. So we're just gonna grab those few little things here in Walmart. I feel like they have a better selection of fruit. Cause I was gonna cut a pineapple, but the more I keep thinking about that, am I gonna cut a pineapple? Yeah, the more I keep thinking about it, I don't think I'm gonna do it. Maybe I will, it may be cheaper. I don't know, let's see, let's look. I did get done prepping all the fruit. I got that in the refrigerator. Um, I got the first part of the cooler set up when I went and picked up Carter from school. I had left the drinks and stuff in the car because I figured what's the point of bringing them downstairs to bring them back upstairs later. So I just took the cooler up there and organized it up there. Um, so all I have to do is put ice on it and then put the fruit on top of ice tomorrow. So I did get that done. Um, the last thing I have to do is go to the grocery store to get sandwich meat and sandwich meat and bread. And I think we're good as far as everything else. So never mind the butter on my shirt from Wild House earlier. But anyway, your girl is tired. I have ran out of gas. So I'm just going to take me like a quick little nap. Much deserved. I've been hustling and bustling and then i just need to properly fold up my clothes in the suitcase and that's it so i'm taking a little nap so before the sun that goes down i'm gonna have all that and put our bags in the car too so the only thing we have to do is grab our toiletry bags or whatever and we'll be good so let me take this little pick me up now and I will see y'all in a few. Y'all, I finally woke up. I'm like five right now. It's like six. But Carter and I are sitting here having dinner. Because I honestly thought I was going to cook something. But I just didn't have the energy to cook. So we just came and got something to eat. And now we're about to go to the grocery store to get the rest of the stuff that I need for the sandwiches, which is the meat, the bread. Meat, bread, and maybe onion. Yeah. What? Done. You're done? Yeah. Are you full? Mm -hmm. Alright. So we're going to English to get the meat and the bread. Can I get a cup for this? Yeah, you can ask him for it to go cook. Whenever he comes over, pick up all your stuff off the table. Get a napkin and wipe all your stuff off the table over here. Yeah. But anyway, I'll see y'all when we leave this restaurant and we start the angle. The girl had a good nap. Let's need it now. Yeah.